All right, today we're gonna to be checking out the DPMS Oracle. I know a lot of people don't like DPMS for whatever reason, but I have found them to be good, solid entry-level rifles. And by entry-level, uh, we have to establish that you have your you know, $500 to $800 price range, that would be an entry-level rifle. Your $1,000 to $1,500 price range, most people would consider that a mid-grade level, and then your top tier, you know, $2,000 and above, whatever, $1,800, whatever. Um, this is not one of those rifles, okay? Uh, the bolt is not boron carbide coated. Um, it's not gas checked. Um, you know, it's just not a premium uh, rifle. But for something that will get the job done uh, with a few accessories uh, from Magpul and uh, a few other little odds and ends, I think it will get the job done. I have found them to be uh, perfectly reliable. Um, <clears throat> as long as, excuse me, as long as you don't use uh, steel case ammunition. But uh, this is the rifle in question. This is the uh, DPMS Oracle. And uh, as you can see, I have the uh, quad rail installed, the uh, M bus uh, flip up sights. And I have not installed an optic on here yet. I'm waiting on that along with my P mags and a few other a uh, few other goodies. Uh, I do have a Magpul um, Magpul grip installed, uh, Magpul stock, like I said, inbus sights, um, the rail protectors, and that's about all I've done to it. I have the uh, the Magpul um, uh, single point sling, of course, uh, Gen Gen three single point sling, and um, everything else is stock. The magazine is the uh, stock. 30 round mag that came with it cheap as it can be um but other than the the furniture and the sights this is a pretty much stock gun so what we're going to be doing today guys is running a few drills and we'll see how she performs i've already put about 30 rounds through it a uh, previous time at the range here to sight the uh, irons in and uh so we're going to be uh putting a few rounds through it and see how she works Well guys, here we have the finished product. Uh, as you can see, my P mags finally came in. I uh, also outfitted the uh, DPMS Oracle with a uh, primary arms micro red dot sight. It has a 2 MOA dot and a, uh, an extended uh, riser, AR-15 riser for uh, one third co-witness. So there you have it from top to bottom, the uh, finished product. As it stands right now, um, out less than less than a thousand dollars total in this setup, and uh, as you can see, I mean it has all the functionality you would need. We uh, we installed the uh, bad lever, and for those of you who don't know what that is, uh, basically, to flip this over, uh, attaches to the bolt release with a hex nut, and uh, basically gives you a uh, dual functionality uh, you can uh, release the bolt the regular way or you can uh, use your index finger over here the same one you would use to drop the magazine to actually release the bolt we'll go over that more in another video but as of right now we are dead on at uh, 50 yards which puts us pretty much spot on out to 200 which is where I like to zero and uh, good rifle so far uh, as far as accuracy goes I mean you're looking at two to three inch groups uh, well two and a half to three inch groups at 100 yards which isn't horrible by any stretch of the imagination this is with cheap uh, bulk factory ammunition but uh, we will have more in-depth videos on the uh, individual components of this setup uh, the sling the stock uh, pistol grip magazine sight everything we'll go over in detail uh, at a later date about this budget build anyway guys thanks for watching